In this video, let us see how to draw the schematic of half adder. We know that half adder contains two inputs which are A and B and two outputs are sum and carry. So let me draw the logic diagram of it first which contains one XOR gate which contains two inputs A and B and the output for this will be sum and it contains one more output which is called as carry. Again the same input should be given here. Now the boolean expression for sum will be A x or b which can also be written as a b bar plus a bar dot b and the boolean expression for carry will be a dot b so let me take this as equation number one this as equation number two now to draw the schematic i need whole bar so if you observe this equation number one and two it does not contain whole bar so now we have to make use of de morgan's laws to get the whole bar so let me do for the first one which is sum it is a b bar plus a bar dot b so what i'll do is i'll try to apply whole bar two times so i place two bars and for the internal one i'll try to apply de morgan's law we know that there are two de morgan's laws which are a plus b whole bar can be written as a bar dot b bar and one more thing is a dot b whole bar can be written as a bar plus b bar. So if you observe here, I'll place the first whole bar as it is. And for the internal one, try to apply first de Morgan's law. So it is of the form a plus b whole bar, which can be written as a bar dot b bar. So it is a b bar whole bar dot a bar dot b whole bar. Again for this, internal one try to apply de morgan's so a dot b bar whole bar can be written as a bar plus b bar whole bar and this becomes a bar whole bar plus b bar so finally it becomes a plus b i mean a bar plus b into a plus b bar so this is the expression for which we need to draw the cmos schematic so we got this one for sum. Similarly, let me solve for the carry. We know that the Boolean expression for carry is a dot b. Try to apply bar two times. So this becomes again carry only. Why? Because if two bars are there, they will get cancelled away. Place the first bar as it is. And for the internal one, try to apply de Morgan's. a dot b whole bar can be written as a bar plus b bar so this is equation number four now we have to draw the schematic for this particular boolean expression so if you observe here the boolean expression for sum is a bar plus b into a plus b bar whole bar so here there is a concept called as dot and plus so dot means series plus means parallel so if you observe here a bar plus b means they are connected in parallel so if you observe here a bar plus b are connected in parallel and there is a dot operator so that's the reason this line is present which indicates series and if you observe a plus b bar means again they are connected in parallel so this is a plus b bar so they are connected in parallel so this is how we draw for nmos so it is completely reversed for pmos so if you observe here for better understanding i'll write here as block number one this has block number 2. If you observe this block 1 and block 2 are connected in series. So here this block 1 and block 2 are connected in parallel. So if you observe for block 1 they are connected in parallel. So here these elements should be connected in series. Here also same thing for B2 they are connected in parallel. So here connect them in series. And finally this is the arrow mark for the direction of flow of current and pull up network contains VDD pull down network contains ground so similarly let us try to understand for carry also so the boolean expression which we got for carry is it is a bar plus b bar whole bar so whole bar is present and the terms which are present below the bar are a bar and b bar so if you observe they are connected by means of plus plus means parallel so that's the reason these two are connected in parallel 
so here if they are connected in parallel above they will be connected in series in the bottom they should be connected in parallel in the above they should be connected in series and the inputs are a bar and b bar so that's the reason i have given a bar and b bar similarly a bar and b bar so this is the direction of flow of current for pmos this is the direction of flow of current for nmos and this is the part where we take output this is vdd this is ground same here also at the center we take output and here we'll give supply voltage vdd and at the bottom it will be ground